Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 13. The exact model for this one is a Dell Inspiron 13 5310. That information can be found on the bottom or in this BIOS or inside on the box. In this video, I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove the battery on your laptop. Uh, this applies for any Inspiron 13 model, so it doesn't have to be exactly the same. The steps are pretty much really wide uh, range for the wide models. All right, just remember by replacing the battery, you're not going to change anything in the system. Everything is going to be left the way you had it before. A lot of questions that I'll be getting asked is that can I use the laptop without the battery connected? Sure you can, and it will work just fine. Even the charger will last you a little longer and the motherboard will last you longer as it doesn't have to pull that extra ampere from the amp from the charger. So it is uh, usable with no problem. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a tip how to keep the performance of the battery at its best peak performance possible, state possible. So yeah. So first thing first, you want to power up the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. You're going to grab ourselves the opening tools. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. I purchased myself the basic tool set. We're going to use a Phillips Zero. If you get the Pro set, you they will include you with an opening tool. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to remove all the screws except the screws in the back corner by the hinge and the other side back corner. Back corners, we're not going to touch. So we're going to remove the one mid back, two sides, and one on each corner in the front. Go ahead and remove them. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mix matching them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, the reason that uh, I left these screws for the end is because these screws, they have something called a C-lock. The seal lock will prevent the screw coming out entirely and it will help to separate the bottom cover from the palm rest. So if you watch, as soon as I start rotating, you're going to see a gap opening. That's the gap we want to see right there. So once you hear a few clicks and you want to let go. Same thing in here. You're going to rotate and you're going to hear this click sounds and the gap opening right there. All right. Next, what you want to grab your opening to, in this case, the guitar pick, and you want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest. And you just want to twist it. I'm sticking about one or two millimeters. Don't stick the whole guitar pick in there. Go all the way to the bottom corner. So you don't have to do the front end. To the back in here, if yours is not opened up wide, go to the corner by the USB connector. Stick it right in there. Little... You want to hear a big click sound. That's what you want to hear. So don't worry about it. There. Once you do the sides and the top, you want to put your thumbs in here and you want to pull it back. And you're going to hear a click sound. That's the front row that it gets uh, loose enough. All right. The battery is down here is a 54 watt hour. Uh, the model for this one is a V6W33, 15 volt. To disconnect this battery, I would recommend you highly first to remove the screws. But if you don't want to, that's fine. I'm going to show you guys first how to disconnect it to be safe. Remove this tape over, bend it over. You want to put your fingers on the side of this bottom jack in here and pull it towards the battery evenly. So I'm putting it, I'm bringing it back evenly. So I'm putting my fingers right in here. I'm pulling it towards the back, a little bit of 45 degree angle. Bring it down. So that, this one is disconnected. Next, what you need to do, disconnect the, remove the screws. All the screws are the same size on the battery. These are a Phillips number one. Don't use a Phillips zero, otherwise you're gonna damage the screw head. All right, once you remove the screws, now you can lift up the battery, bring it towards the fan, because it goes right under the latches right in there. Now, this battery, the new battery do not come with this cable, so you need to untangle this cable. Bring it up like this. Don't yank it. First thing first, you want to pull this trigger backward towards this side. That side, this side, and once you are all the way back, this cable simply with no force or anything will come out. So there we go. Let's say you got the new battery in. You got a new battery in, you want to pull this jack, if it's all the way here, pull it back, 
as far as it can go. Grab this connector, face down. This contact pin has to face inside the jack. Put it in there in 45 degree angle. Hold it down and slide the lock mechanism over and untangle the cable all around in there. Before I put the battery in place, I'm gonna try to put the jack evenly inside the connector. So I'm gonna move it around a little bit in a 45 degree angle, evenly goes in, and I'll push it in there. And now it's in there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring it, push, put it in a 45 degree, the battery bottom side in front of the laptop, and then bring it over. Now we're gonna tighten up the screws over the battery. If you don't wanna disconnect the CMOS battery, that one is right over here. This is the CMOS has a little adhesive. It goes to here. Just pull the jack out and replace it if you wanna remove the CMOS battery. All right, now that we remove this one, once it's finished, make sure all the cables are in place. Grab the bottom cover, put the front end, push down. You wanna hit those click sounds. If you see any gap openings, you just wanna pinch them down. You do not want to push the corners. First, you want to tighten up the screw. The screw will pull the cover to itself. Again, change your screw bit. Now you see that gap? Just push it, it will go to its place. Same thing in here. And push, push, and it will go to its place. And to finish it off, is to put the bottom screws all over the place. Now, regarding the new battery, once you have the new battery in place, you do not want to power on the laptop right away. I highly recommend you guys to connect the uh, charger while it's off and let it sit there for at least two to three hours. After two to three hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger plugged in and you want to put a really light load, bring the brightness down to 20 or 30% and let the battery drain slowly. And once the battery goes down to whatever limit the Windows has, 30%, whatever, you want to power off the laptop. And while it's off, you want to connect the charger and leave it charging again for another two to three hours. That initial charge and discharge, it is very important and crucial for the new batteries. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to replace your battery for your Dell Inspiron 13 model. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.